Well, it's less than two weeks till the special one-hour premiere of the hit comedy Friends right here on the WB11. And to mark this event, we're bringing you the Friends complete and uncut pilot featuring scenes never seen before on television. And Knobloch leads it off here in the bottom of the third. Outrageous bloopers and Phoebe's first song. You'll enjoy that, uh, TJ. So mark your calendar, calendar now. Friends makes its debut on the WB11. That's September the 21st. And it starts at 7 p.m. And the Yankees will try to start it here in the bottom of the third. One ball, one strike count to Knobloch. Yankees in Toronto all tied up in one. David Cohn looking for win number 20 today. A triple by Knobloch got the Yankees on the board in the bottom of the first inning. He was knocked in uh, by Derek Jeter in that sacrifice fly. So Knobloch, undoubtedly, that thumb that uh, was bothering him yesterday is feeling a whole lot better. Gambit putting a tag on Tony Fernandez down at second base a couple of nights ago or a couple of days ago. Three balls and a strike as Escobar returns here in the third. That'll be out of play. Knobloch was looking for his 18th home run on that play. <laughs> Chuck was looking for a fastball, got a fastball, and was way out in front of it and hit it. Hit it right directly over the Toronto Blue Jays dugout in the upper deck. You gotta get out in front of that a little big way. <laughs> the 3-1, three, 3-2 three, pitch down low. So a leadoff walk for Knobloch. That'll bring up Jeter the second time. You know, the uh, in-between innings, when we were looking uh, at Escobar talking to uh, some members of the Blue Jays, they, they weren't putting any tape on there. The, the, the trainer wasn't there to administer anything to him. And, that, that was the that, that was, was the strange thing, thing that he was talking to his pitchers and and uh, not the trainer, the manager, the pitching coach, Mel Queen. <laughs> and of course, when they went out to check on him last inning, uh, they were looking at his his right hand, and he was flexing it. Peter looking to maybe bunt his way on or bunt an block down to second. Yankees, they want to win this game so bad for David Cohn. What he has meant to this club and has stabilized this rotation. He has been the rock that they lean on. Well, hit down the right field line. Green giving chase. He won't catch up with it. It's off the wall. Now block will be waved around third. The throw will not be a throw, and Knobloch will put the Yankees in front two to one as Jeter triples in his second RBI of the day. We've said all year long, Derek Jeter likes the ball out over the plate, kind of like Shannon Stewart. And the Yankees were lucky right here that Green ran too far in on the warning track and the ball bounced over his head. And that gave Derek Jeter three bases and gave uh, Chuck Knobloch three bases from first base, meaning that he scored. Jeter never broke stride once he hit first base. Well, he could see the ball that's right in front of him, and he, he didn't have to look at any coach or anything. And that's Paul O'Neill sending one into center field for a base hit. Jeter comes on to score. The Yankees lead it 3-1. to one. It was a boom, a bop, and a splat, and the Yankees come up with two runs. Paul O'Neill didn't uh, wait for Escobar to throw him a tough pitch. He hit the first thing he saw about belt high out over the plate. That's what good hitters, uh, you know, the, yesterday, uh, Paul swung at the pitcher's pitch. First time up, boom, swung and uh, grounded out, and he shook his head. But this time, that wasn't a pitcher's pitch. That was the hitter's pitch. Bernie Williams will step in, step in for the second time. Bernie struck out back at the first, his only time up so far. Still nobody out for the Yankees here in the third. Bobby, I felt that when you had runners on base in scoring position and you had good hitters at the plate, I didn't feel you had to throw them that 
good a strike or, or that good a pitch early on in the count. You want to try to get them to get themselves out where you didn't have to throw some nasty pitch. And if they were a smart hitter and took the ball, okay, now, now the count's 2-0, and, oh, and but you're in the same spot 2-0 and oh, as, you, as you would be 0-0. Oh oh, you still have to throw a strike. There goes Jeter. Uh, check that old deal. And the throw will not be in time. Gonzalez did tag uh, O'Neill on the top of the helmet. And like the Blue Jays, the Yankees will run two. That's the 15th stolen base for O'Neill. Paul O'Neill going on first movement, running hard. You see, O'Neill didn't look back. A lot of runners, as they're going to second base, will look back to see what's happening at the plate. And O'Neill just runs, boom. Good thing he's six feet four. If he were less, uh, he would be out because his feet wouldn't have hit to the base. I can tell you that that's not a very good way to take off towards second base as Bernie Williams strikes out because if Bernie just uh, sends a little soft looper to somebody, it's going to end up being a double play. You always got to be remindful and know where that ball is when you take off. Uh, that was a split-fingered fastball. Watch the ball go down and away. And you see Bernie way out on his front leg. The speed and the movement fooled him. Well, I guess the only way that you could do that as a runner at first base is to know or have a sign with the guy at home plate to say, uh, I'm taking off, don't swing at it. Yeah, but Bernie swung at it. But I know that, but I'm <laughs> just saying that'd be the only other way. <laughs> Well, every good base runner I've seen runs down there and kind of glances back. Hernandez at third, and he pulled Delgado off the bag, but Delgado able to put the tag on Posada. So Garcia and Cardinal, they'll talk it over, but there'll be two gone for New York here in the third. Tony Fernandez has that little loopy, that, that, that little soft throw -y when he throws a kind of a little sling throw. And he threw the ball up the line about five feet. Fortunately, Delgado was there in time, and Jorge Posada was not there in time. Well, Mike Lowe will step in now. He is uh, one for one with his first base hit in the major leagues back in the second inning. So he made his first play at third base, and he'll have a chance to not get his first run. O'Neill down at second base. I'm sure Mike Lowell knows that these are the first of many, many more to come in his career. Out of play. Now it's uh, no balls and two strikes to Lowell. So Escobar having some problems here in the bottom of the third. He has given up two runs already to New York. Another ball out of play into the upper deck. No balls and two strikes, and Law will try to hang tough against Escobar as he sends his first, uh, well, that's probably his third suit. What's that guy doing? I <laughs> don't well, know. I he had more than uh, two baseballs in there. <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> Got in on his hands. Popped him up the right side. Delgado and Grayback. And the bigger guy gets it. <laughs> but the Yankees are gone if they put some numbers up, too. Hey, I'll lead it three to one. Want to color your gray beard or mustache and look natural? Get Just For Men gel. You look so natural, no one can tell. With Just For Men gel. Brush in and in five minutes, gray is gone. No one can tell. With Just For Men gel. 
What you want is power, comfort, and space at a great price. What you need is Ford's factory authorized clearance. Going on now at your Tri-State Quality Ford store. Because now you can lease a Ford Expedition for just $409 a month. What you want is the confidence of driving an Expedition. What you need is a low $409 a month lease payment. What you want is the best full-size sports utility vehicle and initial quality. And what you need is to hurry. Ford's factory authorized clearance and soon. Visit your Tri-State Quality Ford store now. Atlantic Yellow Pages. It's life, listed alphabetically. I think the real difference between Wendy's 99 cent super value menu and every place else is better tasting food. Since we make things fresh in our kitchen, they end up being more delicious. Our chicken nuggets are all white meat. You get five for 99 cents. Our junior bacon cheeseburgers with two strips of bacon are made when you order them. Wendy's 99 cent super value menu. It's made for you. Other places can copy the price, but they can't copy this. Your local Wendy's has a special ticket offer for the Radio City Christmas Spectacular starring the Rockettes November 5th through January 3rd. Well, top of the fourth, New York in front now by two. Uh, here are some of the out-of-town scores brought to you by Nobody Beats the Wiz. And Boston leading Detroit 1-0. That's in the seventh inning now. Chicago 3-1 over Cleveland. And Baltimore to beating, uh, beating up on Anaheim. Tampa Bay 6-4 over Texas. Boston, Toronto, and Texas, all important games in the American League. Let's take a look at the National League now. Florida 4-1 over Atlanta. And that's Darren Fletcher sending one to Brocious. A nice relay throw to David Cohn and one gone. In unfamiliar territory, Scott Brocious makes a very good veteran first base play. Backhands the ball and then look the peg. Throws it about three steps in front of first base. Well, that, that is where the pitcher wants the ball. Scott Brocious, good job. I was talking to Brocious today, and um, I think that's about the third time this year that he's played first base. And I asked him how many gloves he had. He said, well, I got quite a few gloves. I said, well, you, you got an infield glove. You, I said, you got a first baseman's glove? Yeah. You got an outfielder's glove? Yeah. You got a catcher's glove? No. <laughs> and don't want one. <laughs> No balls and two strikes to Graybeck. It's almost, TJ, like you have your shot against David Cohn, and if you don't make the most of it, you're in deep trouble after that because he settles down. He, he works his momentum to his advantage, and it's almost Katie barred the door after all that. Well, just of all the... Uh, Real good pitchers, the Rick Russells and the guys like that, Gator, when uh, Ron Guidry was here. If you didn't get those guys early and put them away and let them get into the flow of their game, they were tough and they got better as the game got on. Out of play by Grayback. Big Daddy, Rick Russell. Yes, sir. Yeah, what a guy. You talk about a, a guy that had a good sinker slider. And, and a guy that uh, was a big guy. I mean, he was a big bone guy, but could move around on the mound. You didn't want to try to bunt on him, and and he snagged a lot of base hits away from people. Rick and Paul Russell. And his brother Paul was just as big and, and just as quick. Yeah. Out of play again. Uh, Grayback hanging tough. But one out here in the fourth. The Yankees three and the Blue Jays one. The Yankees trying to trying to even up this four game series. Well hit in the center field for a base hit. So the eighth place hitter is on and that will bring up Alex Gonzalez. Well, that was a high hanging breaking ball, and 
It's a good thing that uh, Graybeck is a little second baseman because he just hit the ball, pinged it out into the outfield. Those high hanging breaking balls, you've heard Bobby say it. Boy, the batter's eyes get as big as silver dollars when they <laughs> see that ball spinning up there about chest high. And when the Toronto Blue Jays have hit the ball hard today, it's been off of that breaking yep. ball. Bobby, I just made uh, in about three pitches or three of their hitters of the five hits. Three of them have been high pitches that uh, just sit up there and spin. Gonzalez, who struck out his only time up. And now Cone has him in the hole, 0 and 2. See those two balls right there? Those balls were right knee high, outside corner or just off the corner. That's where I wanted my catcher to sit. Outside corner on one knee off the plate when John Hirschbeck was back at the plate, and I would just throw one pitch after another if I could in that spot and either let him call the batter out or the batter get themselves out. Why not? I mean, if he's going to call him down there, just Absolutely. stay just stay right out there because take advantage of the situation. And there's nobody that studied the umpires any better than you did. But I think that's part of the game. That's out of play off the right side. I mean, from a hitter standpoint, you can you can almost do the same thing. Absolutely. Or you should do the same thing. I mean, there you know, every umpire is supposed to have the same strike zone, but they don't. Some are more lower ball uh, strike zones. Uh, some are higher. Some are inside. Some are outside. And some are real wide. <laughs> Good for the pitcher. Bad for the batter. That's into right field. That'll be another hit. And Grayback will hold it second. So with one out, two men are on for Toronto. I'm sure Mel Stottlemyre is a little concerned. Uh, not a lot. He got a three to one lead, but David's been making more high bad pitches than we've seen him in a long time. And you've got a guy coming up now that's just whistled one out of the ballpark in the first inning has hit the Yankees very well, especially since he was hit Friday night. Shannon Stewart. The comb move him off the plate. Last time he threw him five straight breaking balls and got him to uh, ground out to third base. Started him off with a fastball up and in. Just if he was thinking that he was going to be getting something outside, he just put something else in his mind. Now he's one ball, one strike count to Stewart. Well, he had Stewart way out in front back in the third after Stewart had hit the home run off of him on a 2 and 0 pitch. And that's where you try to get those hitters uh, out on their front foot and off balance so they can't drive the ball off of you. Good hard heat inside and swung on and missed. Now it's 1 and 2. Tony looking uh, for that pitch that maybe he can get the double play on. Yeah, when you look at David's breaking ball, actually his his breaking ball, Bobby, is is more of a flat slider than it is uh, a, a slider with with more vertical movement on it, up and down. And, and that's the breaking ball that you get the double play on. And, and David gets the guys to hit the ball when when he throws it on the plate and then it breaks off the plate and they swing and try to pull it. Stewart did not bite upstairs, so it's two and two. Well, with uh, one out here in the fourth inning, that's the 87th pitch from David Cohn. He, uh, I mean, you know, Cone always throws a lot of pitches in his starts, but that's a lot of pitches through the fourth inning. We're not through the fourth inning yet. That's 80. Uh, that's 88. Am I right or wrong? Or am I way off base? 
Well, that's a lot of pitches, but sometimes you're just getting loose at, <laughs> at 88. And, and David is used to throwing a lot of pitches. He trains between starts to throw a lot of pitches. And, um, you know, but the thing is, Bobby, you don't want to throw 150 pitches here and, and then have your arm be dead for the playoffs. Oh, the breaking ball just missing up high. Now with three and two, uh, with one out, two men on. We'll see what happens to the runners. Let's take a look at this pitch. I think he thought he had the strike out there. Uh, that ball was the, that ball was high, and I think the, in this day and age, it's probably a strike. But most umpires in uh, 1998, that's a ball. The runners hold, and the pitch is tapped back to come. He'll go to second to force the run. Of course, Stewart has that great speed. They do get the out at second, and Toronto will have runners at first and third, and now there will be two outs. See the breaking ball? That That's the ball that David gets the ground balls on, the ones that start at home or start on home plate and then moves off. The ball wasn't hit hard enough for Chuck Knobloch to get the double play and what a good job Gonzalez did down at second base up in the knob block. So Sean Green now will step in. There's a pretty big hole between first and second. And that's a strike call. You know, Cone threw 30 pitches in the third inning. But he uh, pitched his way out of it. He had gotten himself into a jam. Last time out against the uh, Boston Red Sox in seven innings, he threw 103. He's already close to 90 here. two strikes to Green. Green got a hanging uh, slider on the inside half of the plate when he got his base hit last time. They, David can go when you're one and two, Bobby. You can go anyway. You can go fastball inside, splitter away, breaking ball away. The runner goes, and the pitch is on the outside corner, strike three. Green doesn't like the call. But Cohn makes the pitch at the right time, and the Yankees lead it three to one. See this TV set? You're going to see it in a lot of places, and this guy is going to be on it, telling you what's happening at your Toyota dealers. Like right now, there's a mega clearance happening on 98 Toyota cars and trucks, on Camrys, Corollas, Tacomas, and whether you buy or lease, believe me, you'll drive away happy. Oh, the guy on the TV? That's me. Hello. Your everyday kind of TV guy. You already know how important calcium is for your bones. But did you know that 85% of women still don't get enough? So start your day with Total. It's the only leading cereal that's an excellent source of calcium, even before adding milk. In fact, Total has more calcium than the milk itself. No other leading cereal comes close. Simple, low-fat, delicious. So good, you can feel it in your bones. Total. Total Raisin Bran, Total Corn Flakes. One bowl, one great source of calcium. www.yankees.com Hey, Yankee fans, capture the Yankees online at yankees.com. Chat with your favorite player, listen to the game while you check out stats, pull up Yankee history. You can even buy tickets at yankees.com. And Yankee fans, click out of the Yankee shop and purchase official Yankees merchandise. Adidas t-shirts, new era fitted hats, and batting practice jerseys. So go to yankees.com, the internet home of the New York Yankees. Yankees.com! Yankees win! Well, back at the stadium, the guy with his hands on his hips is Gary Matthews, the hitting instructor for Toronto. And I think after uh, Sean Green struck out, Gary Matthews may have given uh, Hirschbeck some words. I know that Green gave him some words. You see right there, Green said no, Hirschbeck said strike. And then uh, Hirschbeck looked in at the bench and uh, made some motions. 
and uh, Gary Matthews was the one sitting down, and, and I'm, there wasn't anybody else around. So he may have been uh, ejected from the game. We don't know that officially. Ricky Lede leads it off for the Yankees. Bottom three coming up for New York, Lede, Brocious, and Girardi. One ball, one strike to Lede. Lede just missed a home run in his last at bat. He sent one deep in the right field. Got underneath it a bit. And with Tim Raines uh, nursing a sore leg and also uh, fighting the flu right now, Lede's getting plenty of playing time, and that's just all right with Ricky uh, with Lede. Well, Lede likes it, but the Yankees have got to like it, too, because he's getting some valuable, valuable experience. He was up earlier this year, as you recall, and now he's uh, he's playing again. The more at-bats you can get, the more quality at-bats facing the good pitchers, the better you're going to be next year. 19 home runs in 95 games at Columbus. All you want to do is to show the Yankees especially and your manager that uh, you belong in the big leagues. You can't do that on a bench. Bound out of the glove of Fletcher. Of course I've seen some guys do some uh, fancy talking on the bench. <laughs> Not many though. <laughs> And Joe Torrey has a bench full now. Well, we understand now that, uh, yes, Gary Matthews was. He was ejected. And that catches the outside corner, strike three. Maybe Hirschbeck is widening that strike zone now. Well, John Hirschbeck is a pitcher's umpire, and that ball is a pitcher's pitch. Boom, and he punches out Ricky Lede. Yeah, I'm surprised. If I'm a coach and he throws me out of the ball game, I got to go out and get my dollar's worth or what, whatever the fine is for getting thrown out of the game. I'm just not going to take it peacefully. Brosh just takes a strike on the outside corner. Well, when we were, when we got the shot of Matthews in the dugout, he would look like he was stunned. He couldn't believe he'd been thrown out of the game. He didn't have time. I think Johnson had to go back and tell him because Johnson came out to talk to Hirschbeck. I think he had to go back and tell him that Hirschbeck threw you out of the game. <laughs> well, just like uh, managers do and players do, hitting instructors, they want to protect their hitters. Absolutely. And that's what he was doing with Sean Green. I'm sure he said something about the strike zone. A good coach will fight for his players. Pretty fair country hitter, Gath Gary Matthews was. <laughs> now it's two and two on Brocious. Toyota box score for the Yankees. Only four base hits, uh, but they've scored three runs off of it. Jeter has knocked in two for New York so far. Brocious looking for his first hit. He won't get it this time around as he strikes out. So the first two against Escobar have struck struck out here in the fourth. A 2-2 fastball. That ball was a cap bill high. And that's when you're guessing fastball. You're looking for a fastball and you see it. You say, boy, I, I got to lay the bat on it. And it's there's no way you can hit that ball. But not as hard as Escobar throws. Girardi grounded out his only time up. Escobar now working very fast. You got to work uh, fast against Joe Girardi or he he's going to hit the first thing up there that he can get the bat on. Likes to hit early in the count likes to hit fastballs. Hits that one hard. 
Grayback with a nice stab at second to throw out Girardi. So the Yankees are gone one, two, three here to fourth, but they lead it three to one. Now get free unlimited airtime to any one number from Bell Atlantic Mobile, the best value in wireless. Now at Nobody Beats the Wiz, a cable vision company. We think an SUV should be less status symbol and more truck. So you'll find a truck-based steel frame under every Jimmy to give it backbone and make it as solid and true as a GMC truck. And right now, get this solid deal. Buy a Jimmy and get $2,500 cash back during the GMC summer sell-down. Your GMC dealer's got plenty of Jimmys on hand. But hurry, because while backbone will always be standard on Jimmy, this great deal won't. Jimmy by GMC. It's interesting what a man will do to avoid buying a new suit by convincing himself that he's still a 32-inch waist or that no one will notice. Well, people notice, which is why we offer the kinds of styles and advice that'll feel as comfortable as your favorite chair. After all, if people are going to notice, it should be for the right reasons. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee you. The Men's Warehouse, now at Madison and 46, Paramus, Stamford, and Trumbull. You've got to keep reminding yourself, you're 50 now. You've got a lot of dreams you're still chasing, and too few dollars to catch them. But to help make up for lost time, you've got the investment answers you need at Chase Investment Services Corp. Advice you can trust right there in your branch. You've got financial consultants who know it's not too late to get started. You've got Chase. The right relationship is everything. Well, here at the top of the fifth inning, uh, the Yankees and David Cohn have that three to one lead. And with the win today, David Cohn will equal his career high for wins in a season. And that has been 10 years since David Cohn has won 20 games. Jimmy Cott wins seven years between uh, his 20 win seasons. You wouldn't, uh, I mean, that'd be a pretty good trivia question. 10 years in between winning 20 games for David Cohn. I know that's the coveted number for all pitchers, but you would think with the way his career has gone, it wouldn't take that long to win 20 games. Not the way he has pitched. I mean, not to make it sound like it's easy, but you know, when you get a quality guy, you know, our, our hitter, you know, you say, well, you mean he's never hit 300? <laughs> Seiko leads off here in the fifth inning with a base hit to left field. And Seiko had not been a problem for David Cohn. He struck him out twice. So this time, Conseco wins the battle. The first pitch. 96 pitches. Nobody out here in the fifth. So David Cohn stretching his back, trying to get loose in there. You got to figure at 96 pitches, you don't have to do any of that twisting or gyrating on the mound. <laughs> so Delgado steps in again and he will take his time. Seiko, even though he's a big guy, he has speed and quickness. 28 stolen bases this year. Uh, good swing by Delgado and foul back and out of play. Alex Rodriguez, uh, the Seattle Mariners, uh, trying to join that 40-40 uh, club. At Conseco started that club a few years ago <laughs> and A-Rod has a real good shot of, of joining that uh, 40 home run and at least 40 stolen bases in a year. Sean Green is the first Toronto Blue Jay to go 30-30 playing this afternoon. I'm in the 10-10 class. 
That's up high. Ball one, one, and two. <laughs> well, my manager always said, I don't want you stealing bases because you may hurt yourself. I took his word for it. <laughs> there goes Kotsenko. Girardi stroll in. It. Not in time. I thought it was in time. Delgado takes the pitch, and Delgado is struck out. So it's a strikeout and a stolen base. I thought maybe the ball boy was close down at second. It was close, but Jose Canseco, watch his slide. Jose Canseco still has good speed. Now watch the slide. He will fade away and get it just with his toe. I think if Jeter didn't try to make the uh, second tag on him and just swiped it like that, he'd have been all right. But he came back to try to tag him, and that indicated that maybe he had missed him. Nevertheless, uh, Cruz will step in with Canseco down at second. Strike one to Cruz. Well, I've heard infield coaches uh, talk for how many years when it's going to be a close play, you come in and you just make a swipe tag and let the umpire determine whether you get him or not. Right. Yeah, if you go back after him the second time, uh, pretty much tells the umpire that maybe you missed him, you know, <laughs> the first time around. Now it's 0-2 on Cruz. Seiko will take off the third. Girardi's throw will be in time this time. And a nice tag by Lowell. I don't understand that move. But anyway, it's in the favor of the Yankees, and they lead it by two. Like the body language you're going to love this translation a luxury sedan at a very approachable price Toyota Avalon 99 cents for five nuggets 99 cents. did you know Wendy's five piece chicken nuggets are just 99 cents every day excuse me this price is every day? That's right. Dave is proud to present five crispy chicken nuggets for 99 cents every day. 99 cents is not going to change? This is not like for a week? I don't know what you're saying. That's a good nugget. It's quite possibly the best deal in chicken. It's worth crossing the road for. Your local Wendy's has a special ticket offer for the Radio City Christmas Spectacular starring the Rockettes November 5th through January 3rd. At Uniroyal, in order to make a point about our new nail guard tires, we added a few to our test track. Nail guard tires, designed to seal 90% of tread punctures, instantly and permanently. Only from Uniroyal. What's the number one ranked minivan by car and driver? The rugged Montana from Pontiac. With not one, but two sliding doors. Something handy for whoever's passing through. Life is more exciting in Montana. Now, get out of Dodge with 0.9% APR financing or $2,000 cash back on any new 98 Transport or Montana during the Pontiac summer sell-down. See your Pontiac dealer today. Well, tonight, even a band of misfit recruits can be all they can be in the Army. That's right. Be sure to join us at 9.30 for the series premiere of the new WB comedy, The Army Show. You may never see basic training quite like this. But these folks can sure have some fun. See what we mean. That's tonight at 9.30, right after the unhappily ever after only on the w WB11. Only after unhappily ever after. All right. I like that. Appreciate they put that in there for me. Knobloch will lead it off for the Yankees. Strike one, Knobloch. Block one for one today. He tripled in the first inning, came around to score. He walked in the third, came around to score. So now Block has scored two of the three runs as the Yankees lead it three to one. Well, 
Well, I think it's appropriate now that the Yankees are coming to bat to uh, wish somebody a happy birthday. And I'd like to wish a guy by the name of the Scooter, Bill Rizzuto, a happy 81st birthday on September the 25th. How about that? It's going to be 81. 81 on the 25th. God bless him. This is, this is our last uh, telecast here at Yankee Stadium. Uh, I wanted to get that in. And that also comes from his good friend, Jimmy Brosetti. Scooter did a few birthdays in his day. And every time Scooter did birthdays, the Yankees, they seemed to do something good. And now Block leads it off here in the uh, fifth inning with a base hit. Of course, number 10 uh, retired and along that famous wall of retired numbers out in the uh, monument area beyond left field. Bernie Williams enjoying a birthday today. Derek Jeter enjoying a one for one but two RBIs for the Yankees. Well you look around the stands and see all kinds of Derek Jeter signs and you see a lot of young ladies with their faces painted number two we love you Derek he has taken this uh, town by storm and what a good looking guy he is and all the young ladies are are in love with Derek Jeter he's on the uh, cover of GQ magazine this month. Coming in the day we were signing autographs for the fans one young lady had her hand Jeter on her fingernails painted on the nails outside corner now it's two balls in a strike she had Derek Jeter on her fingernails well I never did count the uh, I guess that counts up to 10 huh yep little chin music and the fans don't like the guys coming in tied on Derek Jeter now that was that was just to get your attention a little bit Bobby nothing no no harm no foul on that one he's just trying to expand home plate because Derek likes the ball he hit the triple down the right field line on the ball out over home plate. You just want to kind of get somebody to it where they aren't diving in. Oblock takes off and that is out of play. Well, I've got to believe if Joe Torrey sent him 3-1, he's going to send him 3-2. Put the runner in, uh, in motion. You've got to feel also, you've got to be confident that Derek Jeter will put the bat on the ball. Which he does extremely well. He does go on three and two, and it's hit hard into center field. Cruz coming on. He makes the play. They got a shot at doubling up Knobloch. And they get the job done. Knobloch got too far close to second base. And the ball was hit so hard, Knobloch couldn't get back in time. Well, on three two. Knobloch taking off with the pitch. And Jeter just hit a bullet out to center field. That last little jump. Now, but watch Chuck. Instead of going right back into the base, he slid on the outside, on the right field side of first base. If he goes right straight back in as if he's stealing second base, I, I, I don't understand that slide. Well, it turns into a double play, and Paul O'Neill will hit with nobody on. O'Neill one for two with an RBI.
Ray back at second will throw out O'Neill and the Yankees. Well, we waste the uh, leadoff hit here in the fifth inning. 3 1 New York. of people preparing for the year 2000 for the year 00 depending on your point of view so is nobody beats the whiz nobody panic this is what we prepared for right now get a brand new mitsubishi big screen and pay nothing until january 2000 happy new millennium from nobody beats the whiz a cable vision company yeah peach Ma'am, you ordered a uh, pizza? Yes, I did. Let's go, boys. Everybody in the pizza business is looking for a way to deliver oven fresh pizza. Domino's has a better idea. Ma'am, we'll need that back. The new Domino's Heat Wave, the only delivery bag that's like a portable oven. Now Domino's Pizza is hotter, bubblier, and more delicious than ever. Get a large with up to three toppings for just $9.99. Domino's delivering a million smiles a day. <laughs> No matter how high the thermometer climbs, or how sticky the humidity gets, nothing will be hotter this summer than the deals you'll get during Jeep summer days. Like a zero down $279 a month Cherokee lease with only $774 due at signing. With all this, including air conditioning at no extra charge. Or get a great price on Jeep Wrangler. But you'd better hurry in, because deals this incredibly hot are bound to cool down fast. Check out this $279 lease at your dealer. All right, another good crowd on hand here in the top of the sixth inning. Uh, Knobloch doubled off on that line drive off the bat of Jeter. But watch the slide here, Bobby. Chuck did what he even going for first base. He was going for Delgado's legs. And John Hirschbeck, the home plate umpire, was, uh, went down to first base to, to make that call because Richie Garcia, the first base umpire, had to go to second to cover second base. Tony Fernandez swings at the first pitch and sends it high and deep, but foul down the right field line. The most important thing for David Cohn, he leads by two over Toronto. thought that this was the hump inning when I was pitching that if I could get through six innings it seemed like those last three outs or those last three innings and nine outs were a whole lot easier if, if I could pitch a real good sixth inning and, and get everything in flow well, and if you can't then you turn it over to do to, to the bullpen but Dave, David Cohn's one of those guys who likes to pitch as long as he can 107 pitches now for Cohn piece of cake he threw 140 some the game that he struck out 14 against uh, the Marlins Wagon of S striking out Fernandez the guy that has just killed the Yankees in this series uh, now Fernandez has struck out twice against Cone. nice little breaking ball there Fernandez hit one a breaking ball but the ball was much higher that ball was out of the strike zone and Tony Fernandez swung at uh, one of David Cohn's better pitches and this is Darren Fletcher Cohn now with 10 strikeouts in the game that just fouled off the first base side. Cone struck out 14 against Florida. That's the most 
this year. As we take a look at the Toyota box score for the Blue Jays. Seven base hits the Yankees. Uh, the Blue Jays have out hit the Yankees seven to five. Shannon Stewart with the leadoff home run though. That's their only run. That's hit hard. Another base hit. And Fletcher will be on with one out. David tries to come inside to lock the left-handed hitter up and left the ball out over the plate. Boy, Darren Fletcher swings a good bat. Well, right now, uh, Tim Johnson's got a pretty good catching crew with uh, Fletcher and Santiago. Now that Santiago's back. Grayback will step in for the third time. Officially one for one. Boy, he battled Cone back in the fourth for a base hit. Looking to see how many pitches uh, the most that Tone has thrown this year. He only threw 103 in his last outing. Looks like 128 against Philadelphia. So that's the most uh, pitches that Cone has thrown. In 1998, in any one game. And Grayback out in front, he'll pull that one down the left field line. I think it's back in the stands. And it is. Grayback gets a hanging breaking ball. Boy, and he missed a good chance to drive one there. He's just the kind of guy that you would want to pitch up in the strike zone. Let him hit the fly ball. Hit it as far as you want. Yeah. I don't think he can hit the Go ball. ahead. <laughs> Hammer at it. But he will just pester you to death. I mean, with battling you at home plate, base hit to right field, left, left field. Now the Yankee bullpen will get busy with Nelson and Lloyd. base hit for Grayback. Fletcher will stop at second and with one out Toronto has the tying run on at first base. Remember yesterday when I said great Graybacks like those gnats at a picnic where they just pester you and that's exactly what he does the balls up and on the inside half of the plate you see Joe sitting Girardi sitting inside doesn't quite get the ball there just a little bit on the inside half instead of inside corner resulting in a line drive base hit in the big leagues if you miss home plate or miss where you've got to throw the ball three four five inches it gets hit Gonzalez acting like he wants to bunt with one out and two men on. Even though he's a ninth place hitter and with 12 home runs, I've got to let him swing away or I'd want him to swing away. Unless he feels uncomfortable well, sw swinging off David Cohn. Obviously, he did. And it works out perfect as he takes advantage of Laurel at the rookie at third base, and the bases will be loaded for Shannon Stewart. Wow. He knew what he was doing. Well, he tried it once, and he tried it the second time and dropped it down. Pretty good bunt. Saw a little mix-up right there. Cone went over to field the ball. Lowell came in to field the ball, and David tried to jump out of the way, and the two of them ended up colliding. Pretty good bunt. It was a perfect bunt, but now the bases <laughs> are loaded for Shannon Stewart. Only one out. The Yankees still lead it 3-1. Now, you, you told me the perfect bunt's the one that's just about six inches off the line. Oh, the perfect bunt is the one that gets you a base hit. <laughs> That's the perfect bunt. 
<laughs> but in that situation there, the one thing you certainly don't want to do, I don't think, and is that you either make a perfect bunt or you bunt it foul. You don't want to be thrown out. Outside for a ball. That'll leave the count up at one and one. You know, actually, it was a pretty good play. Even if he does get thrown out, you got runners on second and third. You got a guy that's swinging the bat pretty good here. Outside for a ball, and Stewart held up. But I really believe Alex Gonzalez felt, uh, Bobby, that he couldn't hit David Cohn swinging the bat, so I'm going to try to put it on uh, on the ground. The worst place, I get I get thrown out, and runner's going to beat second and third. Outside again. Now it's three balls and one strike. Tells you the respect that the Yankees have for Shannon Stewart. Two and one, bases loaded, one out, two run lead, and they throw him a breaking ball. The biggest jam that Tone has been in in the game. And on three and one, it becomes a perfect pitch on the outside corner. <laughs> and I mean a perfect pitch. Well, I'm telling you, Bobby. Can he do it again? Cone looking for win number 20. Did he go around? He did. Shannon Stewart went too far, and Cone comes back to strike him out. 11 strikeouts for David Cone, and there's two outs here in the sixth inning, and Joe Torrey now is on his way to the mound. Let's take another look at this strikeout. 3-2, bases loaded. Shannon Stewart wanted to swing the bat, held up. No, I went just a little too far. John Hirschbeck made the call. And Joe Torrey made the call to the bullpen, bringing in uh, Graham Lloyd to face Sean Green. 125 pitches for David Cohn, and he will give way to this Yankee bullpen. Cohn looking for win number 20 in his pursuit for the Cy Young here in 1998. She can do everything in a show, from design, direction, casting. She has a rare imagination. She's always exploring. She interrupts you and says, ah, 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 I have an idea. She is a passionate person. She's a passionate artist. Yes. She understands. I've had an American Express card since I was 18. I think when you're a card member, you just look at the world differently. Both these men have athlete's foot. But only one used Desinex, the soothing cure. Desinex has a dual action formula that calms the itching and cools the burning. And Desinex is clinically proven to kill the fungus dead. So your feet feel good while they heal. Got athlete's foot? Get dual action Desinex. Soothes while it cures. I would hope there would come a time when I didn't have to worry about the elderly women in this country, and I do. And part of it is, I think every single one of us, every single one of us women who think we've made it, can see ourselves in the same vulnerable position as that woman living on a Social Security check alone. And I want to make sure that that's more than enough for them to live with dignity. The courage to lead. Ferraro in the Senate. Choice in phone, cable, and internet service. 1 800 Ring RCN.